North Wilkes Motor Speedway pulled a fast one on all of us, plus our first look at the new NASCAR video game. Yeah, you heard me right. We got hoodwinked by North Wilkes Pro. A couple weeks ago, or maybe a week ago at this point, North Wilkes Pro came out and said that a sinkhole underneath the grandstands at the racetrack had opened up and unveiled an old moonshine cave. Of course, the lore of NASCAR, NASCAR began because moonshiners were outrunning police officers and they decided to turn it into a race. And North Wilkesboro, Wilkes County, is famous for their moonshiners and the moonshine runners. So a moonshine cave with a still inside of it isn't really that far out of the question. And having one underneath the racetrack, well, that just adds to the lore of the racetrack, right? It's almost too good to be true. It's because it was. We got hoodwinked. They pulled a balloon boy on us. A little red riding hood us. No, there was never a moonshine cave underneath North Wilkesboro. They put out this video to show us the moonshine cave you know the same way that a haunted house that was built in 2022 and you know is only open in october is haunted no instead they showed us what essentially is just back dirt that had been washed out fill dirt washed out from underneath the grandstand yeah maybe there was a sinkhole there that did open it up and cause a little bit of a problem here but there was never a cave underneath there this was just a track promoter trying to drum up some interest in their racetrack. Haven't talked about North Wilkesboro enough. Haven't, have, haven't been in the news enough over the last two to three years. Dale Jr. only saved the racetrack. They only had the All-Star race last year. They've only been repaved and talked about incessantly. Needed to get back in the headlines. So they pulled a fast one on all of us. They duped us. They said, hey, there's a moonshine cave. What? That's pretty cool. A moonshine cave? I don't live in a place where there's moonshine caves. I'd like to see a moonshine cave. I don't want to try it. I actually don't think I've ever had moonshine. And I mean like actual moonshine. I know I haven't. Uh, they have that fake stuff in Gatlinburg if you want to walk around that cruise ship that crashed into a mountain and, and try to you know experience it there. But I've never tried it. It'd be pretty cool to see it. Like a still that you know is built in a cave underneath a racetrack. How did it go? undiscovered all of these years how could that possibly go undiscovered all these years because it wasn't real that's how it went undiscovered they showed the video you can see they're just walking around and it's just where dirt washed out at you see a grandstand that has fill dirt underneath it backfill this happens you see this happen at high school stadiums around the country basically anywhere that is built into the side of a like on a hillside grandstand concrete grandstand grandstand on a hillside will eventually look like this underneath and they'll probably have to fill back up. So yeah, that wasn't very good. None of that looks like a cave. In fact, none of, I mean, I'm not a structural engineer. I do know some things and I can tell you that was never a cave. It was never a cave. At no point was that ever a cave for moonshine, uh, a moonshine still to be in. Nope, we got duped. They convinced everybody that there was there. They got their headlines. They got all the press that they wanted out of it. And then they put out this video. And they shouldn't have put out the video. They shouldn't have. They should have just lied to everybody and been like, oh, you know, <laughs> the file got corrupted or something like that. Nope. Instead, they decided to put out this video and they make themselves look a little foolish. They also, when they announced that they had found this moonshine cave, they announced that, you know, hopefully we can get this done by May, right? Biggest, biggest race of the season for North Wilkesboro is coming up, the All-Star Race in the middle of May. Hopefully we get this done. We got 600 seats that had to be taken out for it. It's going to be a race against time. And they put out another video today showing these two dudes just standing around filling this hole up with concrete, and they're already at the surface. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's got a cure, but like you have plenty of time for that to happen. At no point were those 600 seats ever in jeopardy. <sighs> like I said, we got hoodwinked. It feels... I feel like a fool. It wasn't even April's Fool's Day either. This wasn't even, I mean, this was poorly executed. If it wasn't April Fool's Day, as poorly executed as Dorman for Clear's April Fool's Day joke was as well. And, you know, if you felt it compelled to finish the podcast, unlike me, because boy, do I not care about what they have to say for their picks or really anything past uh, whatever that segment is that they like give their opinions on things that happened this weekend. You found out that they had an April Fool's Day joke. It was poorly executed. Much like this was a poorly executed marketing ploy for North Wilkesboro. So, ah, kind of a bummer. It would have been cool, right? You can put plexiglass around it, kind of treat it like uh, 
Vladimir Lenin's body in the Red Square. Like, hey, you can walk by and see it. It's pretty cool to see. It's not. It's kind of creepy, if we're being honest. But uh, Moonshine still would actually be pretty cool to see. So whatever. All right. Moving on to something a little bit more fun. Definitely more fun. Get me to 2025 already because I'm ready to play this NASCAR video game that iRacing's putting out. They released their first, like, somewhat teaser shot on Wednesday. And it looks a lot like NASCAR 09, which isn't a bad thing. What's the old saying? Things that are once old or new again or something along those lines. I'm totally fine. Just recreate NASCAR 09 and put the current roster on there with the current racetracks and a better, you know, simulation feel. Fine by me. I just want to sit down on my couch and be able to play this. I don't need this iRacing NASCAR console game to be a full-blown driving sim. I don't need it to be that difficult. I don't need it to have the most customizable of setups. If I want that, hop on my PC back here and I'll just play iRacing. Play iRacing. That's what it is. It's a video game. Instead, I just want to sit down on the couch, you know, knock out a race or two on a on a game that is more competent than NASCAR Ignition 21 because that game was absolute hot garbage. Pretty sure there's a high school video game class that could have coded that thing better than those people did. No, no offense to the people that did that. I'm sure they're hardworking people, but that was a bad video game. And instead, iRacing now has a license, thankfully, because the game that they put out for World of Outlaws is actually a super fun game. I love that game. I still play it from time to time. Got the Xbox One up here and Xbox, what is it, Series X? That's the new one, the newest one. Downstairs, go back and forth, love it. Love playing that game. Give me a NASCAR game just like that. It's It would be phenomenal, and we're getting that. But like I said, this teaser shot of like the garage setup Looks a lot like NASCAR 09, and you can look at that right here. Uh, it's pretty comparable, and I'm fine with that. Give it to me. Does the shop kind of like resemble a Penske? Sure, fine, don't care. Yeah, that's the most boring team in NASCAR. It doesn't matter to me. I just want to be able to sit down and play a game. So hopefully by the end of the year, we can get more teaser images, if not a sort of teaser trailer uh, before next season starts and it comes out. I know everybody's excited for, you know, college football, whatever, 24, 25, whatever they're going to call it, coming out this summer. I'm excited for it too. Cannot wait to give them my money for that game because I'm tired of playing NCAA 14. I feel the same way about this NASCAR game. Give me a competent game and I have full faith in them building a competent game. So I'm excited about that. So to recap, we got Hoodwink by North Wilkesboro. And iRacing is sharing a somewhat teaser shot. Let me know in the comments what you think about both of them. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.